For a start, just try to level up and get your mastery or your level for your fruit up. And just keep on farming them NPCs. Alright, so it's night time right now. I'm not gonna lie. That's why my voice gonna be low because I'm not trying to wake up nobody. It's currently around 1 a.m. right now so i'm just trying to record this video and just get it out there because i'm trying to really learn about blocks fruit and basically just make more videos about it but yeah i got my mans over here dj you're gonna be taking me through everything in the game and let's get right into the video so dj you in the game uh i'm not in your game but yeah i can help you all right so my first question is what's the difference between pirates and marines so the difference between pirates and marines is like marines they're mostly meant for like killing people and taking their bounty uh huh. Like That's NPCs like or real players? Real players. Okay. Oh, okay. you could get bounty from NPCs, but pretty sure you get more bounty by killing players. Okay. And about pirates? Pirates? It's like, how would you explain it? It's like you just go around, farm up. It's the same thing that a marine does. It's just marines are like slightly different because you kill other people for the bounty. So marines, they just get fruits and just kill NPCs and level up, get higher rankings. Alright, so what do you usually pick though? So like as a new player, what should I pick? Mm, I when I started playing, I would say Marines. I guess the I, most common, more bigger ones. I saw I'll go with Marines right now. Yeah. I, so I already spawned in as Marine. Okay, this you right here. So what's like the end goal of the game? Like what's the yo, stop. Oh wait, this is a soldier, it's not you. You stupid. That's not me. So wait, what's like the end goal of the game? The end goal of the game uh -huh. is just become powerful, just reach level 2400 or 2500. Oh, and by the way, y'all might y'all might think I already played the game before. My brother played the game before, but I don't understand it. So basically, just to become powerful, that's all it is. Yep. And so it's have fun. Is there like is there like any limiteds or anything about like that? Any collectibles um, that people collect? Along the way, you are able to get swords and hats that you're able to equip and get you more powerful. So is it like is it like is it like uh is it like a limited stuff that it's a certain people that can get some stuff and some people can't or what? Um, uh yeah, so like there's events that take place certain times. Uh -huh. so there's like a recent event like the christmas event and they were giving out like free fruits and stuff and like just stuff like that and then there was um this uh, i think it was like when it became like 2023 or something or uh -huh. it was like the birthday of like blocks fruit and they're giving out mythical like cotton or like confetti i mean but that's but that's like stuff you could get if you try yeah, it's if like you... limited stuff wait is it limited you really or use it, but so... it's just like a cool way to say that you're like a og oh so you could never get it no more so it's limited all right so yeah i believe it's limited only if they do it again in a different event but for now it is limited okay so now on can you explain the fruit what is that what's the fruit a fruit uh-huh you eat it you find fruits you could like buy one in the store or in the shop that they be having That'd so be so different fruits are like different abilities yeah so there's some they're like rare fruits sometimes and all of that yeah there's like legendaries rares there's all types so like those like limited the best so, one uh-huh uh, ask your question at the fruits like one time use only um you eat it and if you eat the other fruit after that you will lose your power only if you spend money on the game and you're able to keep it like permanent the fruit and, it, and you're always able to switch back to it if you want oh and how much is that well it's um if you go to the shops of like fruits uh -huh. there will be like prices you gotta spend robux for like all different type of rarities so like okay. if you wanted the best fruit like for pvp you could say is um what do you call it I think 30 bucks or 25 35 dollars no like 35 bucks or like 25 for the like the best pvp fruit oh, okay okay all yeah. right so that's basically what the game is all about it's just about grinding uh yeah just grinding uh killing them so do, do i have to wait, wait so look you know i don't like watch anime and all of that i don't have to have like any background in anime or anything like know anything about uh, anime it would help you out understand the game if you did watch the anime one uh one piece a one piece so it's based on one piece yeah it's based on that so in one piece there's some there's something called fruits or, or what are you talking about yeah there is called fruits and you just you're able to get powers in the anime the fruits give you powers and you they're like basically it's just like completely related to the anime so there's only a bit changes okay so uh i'm in i'm at the mayor's place right now so that's the quest right where do i get how do i go to the shop wait where are you i'm at the mayor the quest the mayor how does your surrounding look? it's like a grass area it's a there's a volcano there's a volcano 
Uh, okay. You're at the volcano? Yeah. I, I'm on my, my company. Is there a rebirth in this game? Uh, there's not a rebirth thing. It's all about getting higher levels. And then when you reach a certain level, you go to like different C's. And there's like first C, second C, third C. Wait, and I'll... now you're on first C. Wait, what level are you? And I am level 912. 912. I'm level 368, by the way. Uh, so your brother has played it a little bit. Yeah. That has topped you out. So basically, that's so what the game up. is about. I thought it was like way more complicated. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I'm being that ass sniper. Sniper really. for it's the video right now. Get money, buy fruits, um, get so, levels, so wait, your stats. Why are there many people playing the game though? Like, what is really special about it? It's because they're always adding updates and it's just related to a big anime that's like super famous around the anime culture mm, 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 yeah just the okay. feeling of you able being yeah. able to far grind your way up to be one of the best of the best yeah i probably can't get that i probably can't get that because i don't really watch anime i never watched anime be honest never all i gotta do is just watch like maybe a couple episodes or like watch a couple youtube videos like so understand that so like what what would you what would you say i should do as a new player now just keep fighting people and upgrade wait do i upgrade my weapons or what um you got a fruit like aiden is it like how do i see if i have a fruit um in your hot bar there should be something here. not only have uh, a, i have a combat i have a sword and i have a gun oh i have a spring fruit what wait, is that you're at the volcano? Oh, i see you i'm right here at the boat to your right i have a spring that's yeah that's your boat yeah look if you want you could hop on my boat here and hop on my boat and i could bring you to the store then you can see all the different where let me get a different boat okay faster for us How do I jump? How do I do that? How do I do that? Come over here. How do I jump like that? How do I jump like that? Uh, you need to get you Bedly. Bedly is like the currency that you're able to get for like doing quests and stuff. I have, I have, right. uh, I have 11,000. Right I said 11,000. where you buy fruits, like, uh, buy random fruits. Every two hours, you're able to come here and buy fruit. Okay, How much so does it cost for you to buy a fruit? Uh... It cut, wait, I'm level 386, so the next fruit you purchase is gonna cost you 80,000. It cost you 80,000? Yeah. yeah, I got 80,000 though. Should I buy it? You got, you got 80,000? I have 114. Yeah, if you want, you can buy it and see if you got good luck. Wait, how much uh, do you have? I got 1.8 mil. Damn. Alright, but let me see. Would you like to buy it? Yeah, buy completed it says flame fruit oh flame fruit is a good fruit to start off she's like so how do i do it do i just click right click you left click left click press eat and it'll reset you oh wait what the so never want, mind could... wait what bro what are you doing you trying to kill me he says nah. do you, so click okay. eat yep and then now you're eating so i got it yeah now you're able to use the moves so the first move press z e see what happens damn yeah if you want that power can help you a lot more if you just for your power that one the starting off uh -huh. if you hold z like fully it'll, it could last longer the power okay uh, like do, do i upgrade how do i upgrade it your fruit yeah so if you see on the right side it says mastery do you see it uh-huh like right on your fruit oh it says i'm level three okay i see it so it's by using it yeah by using it gives you xp so that's and all. And then after a bit of time, a level up, and then you could just unlock more of the more of the powers that it has. So would you say I should buy the pass that lets me switch through, through uh, it's fruits? It's not a pass, just because if you want, I could show you where the store is. There's like a shop where you're able to buy fruits, like permanent fruits. Ah, uh, let me see. Oh, wait, wait, what are C's? What are C's? 
Because I heard you say it like seven times now. And I just said seven because yeah. I saw seven masteries. But it's, you said it a lot. But yeah, what are C's? C's? They're just like a different way of saying like how strong you are. So the stronger you are, the more the like different C you go to. And, and how, how, do I, how do I know? How do I go through C's? Um, for Because right now you're in first C. If you wanted to go to second C, you'll go to level 700 or 750. So, but wait, how do I switch? How do I switch to C's though? You have to go to a. You have to complete a quest, eventually, and then it'll lead up to you going. Well, not going, but teleporting you there. And then you'll be there, and you just do the same thing like what you did in uh, first C. Okay. Okay. So go. wait. So wait, do swords? Right do swords mean anything? Swords are decent, but fruits most of the time are better. I guess the so fruit dealers. So this is the right here, this, this is the prominent fruits. Right this is where you're able to buy fruits. Uh huh. There's like certain ones that are for sale, and some of them are out of stock. Right now there is the kilo, spin, spring, and bird falcon and ice. And are this prominent fruits? Do you have this forever or not? Uh yeah, the permanent fruits. If you buy, you have it forever. But I don't see it. It says okay. Never mind. Continue. I have to. I have to tap it in. So how do I know which one's permanent and which one is not? Uh, most of the time you'll spend Robux on it. Oh. So if you go to view, you can say buy with Robux, and you go spend money on. It. So if I buy, if I buy with money, it doesn't. Oh, he says select well, the payment money, method. If you purchase with Robux, you won't need to rebuy it. Okay. So yeah, I can't. So the Robux ones are permanent, but if you just buy with the money in the game, then it's not permanent. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, okay. so every, I believe, five or something hours, I'm not very sure. They, the resets. The shop resets and okay. all diff yeah, all different, sh uh, different fruits come in stock. Yeah, so the fruits, they just become stock and out of stock and stuff. And yeah, so right now, you can see if you scroll down, not that much. You see you have flame. Yeah. Flame is pretty good to start off with because it... You're able, if you're able to get it to mastery 10, not that hard. You're able to fly. Fly is pretty good around like the areas. You're able to move around. Okay, so some now some some fruits are worth more than uh, the others. Yeah. So there's if, there's if it's in the rank. So there's kind of like a collectible uh system in this game too. Yeah. So like if you get a rare fruit, they'll help you out with like your damage no. or. Okay, so you know you know how you play treasure quest, right? You see how you collect like. Um, some weapons that are really like rare. Is there anything like that with a fruit too? Yeah, so sometimes you can find fruits that spawn on the grounds or fruits that come in stock. And those, if they're rare, like if they're lower down, those go. What you mean lower down? Like, like lower down the list in the shop. So oh, so okay, okay, okay. So like leopard, dragon, spirits. Those are rare. Like, oh, those type of stuff. Those type of fruits. Uh huh. And Buddha and stuff. Find those and get to get if you're able to get to second seat. Those are very high value for trading and stuff. Okay, but, but you got the leopard one, right? Yep, I'll okay. show you. Now, I seen, I seen your chain to it and everything. So, uh, yeah, what what else will you tell me? Because I'm just new to the game. What else will you tell me? For a start, just try to level up and get your mastery or your level for your fruit up. And just keep on farming them NPCs. And eventually, because first seed, most of the time, it's just about farming, getting your money up, your levels, your stats. Second C, it's still about farming, but there's a lot more like PvP most of the time. Because that's where like higher level people are kind of starting to be able to PvP more. So the end goal of this game is basically just to grind and get some limited or some good fruits to basically yeah. come, to basically show basically it's a point of showing off to other people to be honest yeah like these weapons are here this little gun this like sword these are a legendary sword and legendary i understand why this game we got a lot of people playing it right now then just to be honest yeah. i just see this game and i'll be like why are people really playing that it, I, it don't make no sense i join it and i'll be like i don't understand what's going on yeah it's okay. all about like the fame that one piece the anime has like so, in it because to be honest this game doesn't really have that much things to do rather than just to grind get fruits yeah so i'll say i probably already know most of the things in this game then but if you think you didn't say some things just comment it in the comment section and i'll surely read it and probably just learn more from you guys too but that's gonna be the end of the video shout out to dj for basically showing me around the game because to be honest if nobody was here to show me around the game i'll probably never be playing this game but y'all can expect more videos about this game 
coming soon for me i'll be doing a lot of a lot of farming because i'm basically still a noob probably like a noob to pro or something like that if y'all want to see that because technically i don't i still don't understand this game i kind of i kind of get the the like the basics but i think i still gotta like play the game and understand it but yeah that's gonna be the end of the video if y'all new to the channel make sure you subscribe and like the video we're trying to make to a thousand subs and yeah i'll see y'all later you want to say anything to the youtube real quick dj hope you guys like the content bye